Hello everyone, my name is Del, your nature boy, and in this channel I'll be bringing content about culture, tourism, history, facts, and issues of the environment and nature in general. So today I'm going to tell you how to survive a piranha feeding frenzy, so stay tuned for that. The red-bellied piranha is the most vicious and aggressive of its kind. It's also the most common. Step one of surviving a piranha feeding frenzy is be still as possible. Piranhas are stealthy opportunists and are attracted to sick dying animals. If you panic and begin to thrash around, this will tell predators this will tell predators you are in trouble and they will begin to run. Make your movements slow and deliberate. Step 2. Don't make noise. Red-bearded piranha rocade their prey excel with excellent hearing, combined with teamwork. They shall fans out in search of prey. Once they find a tasty prey, they communicate percussively to each other, which signals the feast to begin. So it is important that you make as little noise as possible. Don't yell or scream and tread swim carefully. Step 3. Swim to deeper water. Attacks on humans have been the, on the rise on the last decade. Scientists believe it is caused by an increase in dams in um, the Amazon River, which slows the current and attracts swimmers. The slow-moving, warm, prime swimming water is exactly what piranhas love. If you can, quietly move towards deeper water where it is colder and the current is quicker. Currents can be dangerous themselves if you are not a strong swimmer, but they will help you from an uninvited feeding frenzy. Step 4. Protect your arms and feet. Exposed hands and feet are vulnerable main targets for the piranha. So protect these areas before you potentially go out into piranha infested waters. This will help you survive nasty bites. They will hurt but maybe you will be missing less chance when you finally escape. Think leather gloves and solid shoes. That is going to help you against an uninvited piranha feeding frenzy. It is the United States President Theodore Roosevelt who turned piranha into a popular supervillain in a book chronicling his jungle journey through the Brazilian wilderness. He witnessed an entire cow being devoured to the bone but experts believe the shocking event was staged for the president's benefit or amusement. In truth, these beasts are quite that monstrous after all. They are quite not that monstrous after all. Like most animals, piranha are more scared of you than you are of them. Giving them wide breath is your best as especially is your best bet, especially if they're guarding a huge clutch of eggs or especially if they are just unvicious. Honestly, you may have a bigger things to worry about uh, like crocodiles if you fall into the river of the or the Amazon River. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you want more people to see this content. And my name is Del Gracious. Your nature boy, signing off. Peace, y'all.